if they are related. Um, the Kenyan government, Kenyan forces, as we all are aware of, uh, have helped us liberate uh, many uh, cities uh, and parts in southern Somalia, and uh, we really appreciate that. We in Somalia really do know, you know, um, too well the human cause of violence like this. Uh, our prayers today are with our brothers and sisters in Kenya, and we just want to say that we are sending our strong message of solidarity to the Kenyan government, and uh, we are together on this fight, and, uh, and we will be uh, with Kenyan uh, uh, family and, and government uh, in this matter. Yes, Ms. Mr. Ambassador, um, uh, we, we appreciate that sentiment. If I could just uh, direct you back to my earlier question. We understand there was another attack that occurred, um, uh, I believe, in Mogadishu at around 11 a.m. Is your government aware at all whether it was linked to the attack that we are seeing in Nairobi? My go as I said, uh, my government uh, security forces and uh, the military material are trying to figure out if they are related uh, Shabab have claimed uh, the two attacks that took place, one in Nairobi and one in Mogadishu, and, uh, and, and we condemn both attacks, and we are doing all our best uh, in Mogadishu and Somalia that it should not happen again, and uh, the two countries will work together um, on this matter. Um, Mr. Ambassador, um, certainly you, you would be well aware um, in terms of capacity of the Al-Shabaab terror network to, to launch this kind of attack. They have claimed responsibility for it. Uh, the belief was that Kenya marching into Somalia significantly weakened their abilities to strike, but today seems to prove uh, different. This attack seems more sophisticated than any we have witnessed. What, what is your assessment in terms of the Al-Shabaab's capability to launch more coordinated, more high-profile, more sophisticated attacks? We believe uh, as Shabab, uh, in Somalia, uh, they have lost many guns, and uh, this is uh, the last kick of, uh, of attacks. Um, and, and we believe that uh, we and the Kenyan uh, government will be able to, to defeat them, and uh, it should not really uh, affect us what we do together to bring peace and stability to, Kenya, to Somalia and uh, through the region. Uh, that's why they are doing these things. But as I said again, this should not really undermine uh, what uh, KDF and Somali forces uh, are doing in Somalia. I, I, I appreciate that. Uh, perhaps if I could rephrase the question um, in regards to the funding or financing of the terror network. The operation that took place um, in Somalia led by uh, KDF certainly wasn't targeted at dealing with the economics behind it but it's an important question because that is how uh, these terrorists are able to launch such attacks this is how they're able to train and to equip um, their soldiers if you like what efforts are being made uh, by your government and i would imagine in some sort of coordination with the kenya government and other others uh, interested to follow the money trail and to get those who actually fund these sort of attacks I want to assure you that uh, the Somali government and Kenyan government are working day and night uh, on these matters, but unfortunately I won't be able to say over the media what are we doing together, but we are working together and this uh, 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 together we will stop it. All right. Um, uh Perhaps uh, a more social question. You, you have talked about the fact that the people of Somalia are grateful uh, for Kenya's intervention uh, in your country to bring some sort of stability. But we wonder about uh, the, the psychological angle and how this, this war, if you like, is being presented, that it is now an ideological battle. Any real attempts from your government to sort of undo the brainwashing that has been done of Somali youth in as far as what the war terror is about we, we are doing all our best um, and, and also today uh, I should have said uh, the president of Somalia uh, condemned this act of what happened today at Westgate in Nairobi um, and inside Somalia uh, my government uh, the S Somali forces are doing a good job really uh, and have liberated many towns and cities Shabab themselves they are now in disarray uh, and we believe that they are losing that's why they're doing these things.
All right, Mr. Ambassador, I want to thank you uh, for your time. Um, we certainly wish uh, the people of Somalia well, um, and we appreciate uh, your sentiment uh, for us. That is uh, Mohammed Al.